So Graham's Law of Effusion, uh, a few things to show you how to derive it. This is Graham's Law of Effusion. So if we're talking about two gases, we can compare how fast the molecules are moving. And it's based on their molar masses, or it, it relates to their molar masses. Uh, it's the inverse of the square. So I'll show you why. So the uh, part of the kinetic molecular theory, the average AVG is Average kinetic energy of gases is proportional to absolute temperature. So it's proportional to Kelvin temperature. Um, so it's kinetic energy that's the same. It's not velocity. So at the same temperature, different gases have the same average kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one-half mv squared. Uh, different gases have different masses. Therefore, they must have different velocities. Right. They have the same kinetic energy, but that changes. All right, so uh, let's compare helium and neon at, say, 298 Kelvin. could be any temperature, but kinetic energy or average kinetic energy of helium is equal to the average kinetic energy of the neon molecules. Keep in mind, the molecules themselves, the molecules in helium, they, they are going to vary. They do not all have the same kinetic energy. We are, we are looking at average kinetic energy. So we plug in the equations, we rearrange, we rearrange, we get the velocity of, keep, this is velocity, not volume, right? I know we're dealing with gases, but this is it's not volume right now, it's velocity. Velocity of helium per the, over the velocity of neon is equal to the square root of that. We plug in the molar masses, 20.18, and, and we get 2.245. This means the rate of helium is 2.245 times faster than the rate of neon. Okay, so maybe it's easier to see rate instead of instead of the v because. But anyway, we've got we've got this. Let's let's look at a problem. See if you can solve it, and then I'll show you a solution. So a gas effuses 1.55 times faster than propane at the same temperature and pressure. Is the gas heavier or lighter than propane? and B, what is the molar mass of the gas. So go ahead and try and solve it. Then the answer is A, well, it moves faster, therefore it must be lighter. And then B, we set up Graham's Law and we can rearrange. So the rate of X is our unknown compared to the rate of propane, C3H8, equals 1.55. And then we get the molar mass of propane, 44.09. So it's 44.09 over the molar mass of X. We rearrange again. So 44.09 over 1.55 squared. We get 18.35 grams per mole. That's the molar mass.